Wing Testers. Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from wingtesters.com. Welcome back to another unboxing a ton of dope shit. So as you can see back here, this is all we have. So it's not technically a ton of dope shit like I normally do. It's just some dope shit, but the dope shit that we got is fucking dope. Not only that, but it's all footwear. So for those of you guys that complain about not liking toys, this one's for you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So first up, we have something that I got from overseas and I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm not gonna try, but I'm gonna put his Instagram handle uh, somewhere down here, but he's a follower of mine. I follow him as well. And he was like, hey bro, um, I can get you these if you want them. And I said, sure. So that's what we got. He also sent over some cool t-shirts, so I'm just gonna take a look at that. I was gonna show you the t-shirts, but they're not in English. So, I don't know where to get them either, so. <laughs> it's one of those things where, it's cool for me. Sorry, but you can't see it. Or if you did wanna see it, here you go, but uh, I don't know what, I don't know what it says, so. But thank you. Now, as you can see, it's a Jordan. Guess what it is. Ready, set, go. Have you guessed yet? All right, make sure that you had left your comment in the comment section. Don't cheat, okay? Here they are. Oh wait, what is this? I have not opened this yet, so this is my first time. That's what she said. <laughs> so this maybe is where, where he got them from, I'm not sure. Ready, set. You're probably wrong. So these are part of the new city pack uh, for the Jordan brand retro line. And and these were uh, these are for Paris. These, these were an overseas exclusive, not limited or anything by any means. I think these were a GR and not that it matters, but a lot of people are like, oh, those were GRs. As if it's like, it doesn't make the shoe as cool or something. It's like, F off, dude. Like what the f <laughs> like, who gives a shit? If it was limited or a f***ing GR, if the shoe looks dope, I'm gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a shit about that stuff. But anyway, so they brought back the City Pack, and I'm going to do a separate review on these. But initially, initially, I do like what I see. These are, this is kind of cool. I don't know how well you can see it, but that cut of leather right here on the side panel is super thick. Normally, the side panel, uh, you know, overlays right here are really thin. But this is the the shoe, real quick. Again, I'm gonna do a. A separate video so I'll give you guys like a really nice look at these so far just first quick impression they're not bad they actually look a lot cleaner in person these things are like changing color they're like going from purple to like gray maybe a little bit of green I don't know these are pretty trippy so I'm gonna give a, a separate video on these but again huge shout out to my homie PMAS over at uh, Instagram and uh, really big thank you these things are changing all kinds of colors there's like three colors right here that I'm that I'm seeing either that or uh, that Claritin didn't make my vision so clear. Next up, we got some new from iSlides. Uh, this is custom slides that you can customize. They have some really cool new options and I don't know which ones. Oh, these ones are dope. I'm gonna do these second. We'll do this one first. This is a new option that they have. These are still really dope. And what you could do with the slide is customize the entire strap and everything, and they got different bases and all that kind of good stuff. And the cool part about it is that they have a, a licensing agreement with the NBA so they can use their logos. Now before, you can customize all the cool stuff on the strap, but you had to place that logo on there however it came. So the warrior colors were golden and uh, blue or whatever, and so you had to place that golden blue logo on the slide. But now, that's not an issue. You can literally change the logo to any color that you want, apply it to the slide. You can even customize it as you can see. It says Nightwing2303, which is very similar to my logo. So for all you idiots that keep trying to come at me with the whole bandwagon thing, you didn't pay attention to my logo like three years ago because my logo hasn't changed at all. And it is literally just a new rendition or a reimagining of the Golden State logo because guess what? I'm from the Bay Area. What? This is where I live. What? This is my home team. What? I can't bandwagon my home team. It's, it, I'm here. It's, it's where I'm from. I can't help it. Sorry. Was that sarcasm? No. Was that sarcasm? Yes. Was that sarcasm? Stop it. But anyways, here it is. Very freaking cool. And I love it. You can see the logo right there too. You probably can't see it. It's really small, but there is another Golden State logo right there. So new option over at iSlide. Check them out. Now this is a new color for the slide and they are sexy. It's called the goat and you'll see why in a minute. Ooh, look at that. The goat because UNC, man. Who came from UNC that is considered the goat? That's right. Or I don't know if you can see it. 
are all these, yeah, these are all Jordans. It's this guy right here. And what makes this slide the GOAT of the GOAT is that it's got my logo on there, and this is the GOAT of performance reviews. Just kidding. I don't think I'm the GOAT, but I am pretty good. Professor K, that's the GOAT, bar none, hands down. But like I was saying, this is a brand new color option, that UNC blue slide. I think it looks sick, and you can place whatever you want on there. You can place your logos like this, you can place the NBA logos, then change the color. You can literally do whatever you want. They're custom slides. And there you go. So you can see my homie Rack made this logo for me. Like I said, like at least three years ago, it might have been more. And it is a reimagining of the Golden State logo because I'm a Bay Area native. Duh. So we got two left. I'm going to open the bottom one first because that's the one that I bought. And then this one Nike sent over surprisingly and I didn't even know that they were coming. I thought it was something else. Big ass box. You can see the logo on there. So take one wild guess what it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to get it. Not positive, but I'm pretty sure. That's right, folks. It's the new and improved calf condom. These are only the shin, though, so it's just the shin condom. Under Armour's calf condom was more like the Magnum condom, and this is just kind of the regular, like, one-size-fits-all condom. And if you are too young to get that joke, I apologize. But yeah, you can see that these are so tall that I have to sit back in my chair just to try to get them all in camera because I do not want to adjust the camera view. How's that for being lazy? So yes, there will be a performance review on these. I will also do a separate video on these as well for those of you that just want a detailed look and are uninterested in performance for whatever reason and yeah I think that these are a waste of money but you guys asked for it so I wasted my money for you you're welcome one of you guys better buy this shoe after I'm done reviewing it I swear like you got to just just make me happy and be like yo Chris I bought them because you reviewed them even if I give them a shitty review the fact that I wasted my money on these for you go buy one Please. Last but not least, we got the surprise package from Nike, and I did peek inside because I'm an impatient bastard, and it's something that I didn't expect. I actually bought this shoe while I bought that Elite shoe, the KD Elites, and I was gonna have Jaren review these, but the very next day, they came surprisingly from Nike, so big thank you to Nike for supplying these. Jaren gets to go and get store credit for the LeBron Elite and buy something else. I think we're gonna review the Hyper something, Hyper Live, Hyper Chase, whatever the shoe's called, I can't even remember. Hyper something, they're all the f***ing same. And I'm gonna end up reviewing both of these because, you know, I'm super young and I can handle it now. But anyways, here we go. Came with this cool little card right there, I thought that was super dope. I legit thought that this was the new version of the J Crossover 4 because I've been wearing testing those for brand black so they're supposed to be sending me the updated version with the little tweaks and stuff uh, the little changes or fixes and so I opened the box up thinking it was that and it was totally not that and I, I almost never get stuff from Nike so that's why I was like I didn't even read the label it just look it looked like a brand black thing and it, it wasn't but check these out these are actually pretty dope BAM that's right the LeBron 13 Elite, and I don't think that this has even released yet. The red one has, but not this one, and this one is really dope looking. I remember when we posted the press release information on weartesters.com, because that's what we do. We post news and sneaker reviews. Whoa, mind blown. So we posted that, and it had pictures of these, I think a black and gold one, and then the red ones. There might have been a fourth option, but I'm not sure, I can't remember. And out of all the colorways that I saw, I was like, dude, those white and gold ones are really dope looking. So again, Big thank you to Nike. I don't know how the hell you read my mind, but these are sick. And yes, these will get a separate review as well. I'll go over the materials. I'll compare them a little bit to the Jordan Ultrafly because I know already that you guys are probably like, how does the material compare from that shoe to this shoe? Because they both use the Curum upper. And uh, I will tell you how it, it is uh, later on. And then I'll also wear test them and then give you a performance review for those of you that are interested in their performance. And that is all of my dope these things these things are see they're green again these things are crazy they're calling my name back there oh man i kind of like how the black jump man back there just kind of blends in you don't even see it those smell good those don't smell like anything those smell like latex condoms. Just kidding. So that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. If I have links for any of these items, I will link them in the comment, not the comment section, the description box. Damn, idiot. I will throw a link in the description box below. There's also a code to use the uh, the eye slides as well. I don't remember what it is, but I'll leave it down below once I figure it out. And that way, if you wanted to place an order on some custom slides, you can save a little bit of cash. So thanks again, and until next time, guys. Have a good one. Sold down. Same great traction. Same unbelievably awesome cushion. I mean, do I really gotta explain it? You know what I mean? Like, like this is just awesome. It's heaven for your feet. Now it's encased in what they call the stable frame. Part that I'm not too fond of. 
In images, you would never know. And because this colorway hasn't dropped yet, I didn't know either. But in images, I thought that this was just a gray mesh. But what it actually is, is like a 